No, it has nothing, no nothing. bottom, you know. Probably it's a dual bar or something exists, uh, so but I don't know if it exists. Initials here? Yeah. Point is the initial RLB. Yeah. RLB again, huh? There's a watch. Put that in here, I guess. Yeah. In gone. I agree. In gone. Here we go. I want you to examine these things and while well, we take a look at the second safe right now. Okay. Wow. Great. And let's see what the uh, the recover safe inside it might contain. Would you open this one, please? Jacques. You know, this is the actual assistant purse safe from the Titanic, which was restored by EDF. It's almost impossible to believe that it, that it still exists. And that's it. Here with us tonight in Paris. got in there. Looks like a bunch of coins, huh? Yeah. All right, I'll take... Uh... That's great. You need to open the bag. Oh, yes? Bag. You better do it then. Well, 75 years ago, somebody made a yeah. real good knot. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Old coins. Old coins. Yellow coins. So Yellow coins. We'll put them over here. Who's our coin expert? Madame? Here we go. Boy. Huh? Now, where's that thing that had the initials on it? Initials? Yeah. has Amy, that has a name on it. A name? Yes. And what is the name on it? Can Amy. you see it? Amy? Yes. Amy. Amy, in Little Diamond. And this one here? Or Annie. I tried to open it. All right. In our computer, we have the name of every passenger on the Titanic. When we return, our computer check will hopefully identify the owner of these items. And we will also hear the exciting analysis of experts on these priceless recoveries. We'll be back in just a moment. I'm looking at the list of passengers. We find one person with the initials RLB, you know, who might be in fact the owner of this jewelry. That passenger are Mr. and Mrs. R.L. Beckwith. You know, if there are any survivors or heirs of the Beckwiths, this could be yours. Anyway, how are we doing with our uh, analysis on the coins? There are a lot of them here, too, aren't there? Yeah. Uh, well, you've got some gold coins, English ones. English? Yeah, it's the main, uh, it's the part the most important, all that gold coins, you know? I see. Sovereigns. Uh, and uh, we can think that uh, the world treasure is around uh, five thousand dollars. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. That's great. <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, they'll put, put on exhibition. You know, but we have also the portemonnaie, and that is uh, the purse. It's quite the human thing. Yes. You know. I hope they can preserve that as well. Yeah. And what did you come up with now with the bills? Well, the it's absolutely amazing that this should have been able to be preserved even in this state. Many of them you can make out the various denominations. And there are bills of all the various American denominations. I'm disappointed there aren't any English banknotes. I thought sailing from the state there would be some. 
But these show the denominations from the two to the ten dollar, and there's a fifty dollar in there. There is American American money. All American money. Some of them have still got the original band around them. Obviously, this is one of the reasons that uh, they've been lasted even this long. Uh, there is one that has been preserved and obviously restored here, which shows it to have been a national currency issue of about 1902. It shows William McKinley, by the way, who oh, was man. the 25th president, who had been... Um, How'd you know that, 25th president? Oh, McKinley on the series of no, the U.S. notes, you're... for sure. But what's interesting is that, if, if I'm not mistaken, the back of this note will have shown, in fact, the uh, portrait of liberty to, with two vessels sailing on it. All of the ten dollars of this series would be doing that. So that's now, this is one after being treated by the uh, French Institute, and this is how it, it was when they picked yeah, it up. It's absolutely amazing, the, the restoration that's been done on that action. I see. Well, thank you. All right, now, with the loophole, what do we got here? I have a very sentimental little pendant here. It's a little gold pendant with a tiny little um, old mine cut diamond. And the inscription says, may this be your lucky star. Really? This is a very nice little filigree pendant with, um, it's about 1905 to 1910. And it has little old mine diamonds in it. Here's another little piece here. This little bracelet is the one that has Amy in diamonds. You've got to look into that. In diamonds, huh? Yes. Well, they've survived 75 years under the water. It's, uh, yes, it's incredible. Proof that diamonds are a girl's best friend. And what have we got here? I have a nice, uh, nice little uh, uh, display set of uh, stick pins. And it's strange that among these stick pins, one of them is engraved RLB. Mm -hmm. And uh, these men had several. Uh, one was a scarab. The other one is, uh, is decorated as a little diamond flower. Uh, it's, it's nice. Uh, I have also uh, what seems to be a cover, the cover of a box, but unfortunately I have only the cover with oh, RLB also. Well, uh, Jacques is there any stuff uh, out of the valise? Oh, here. And there. rings? Rings and that. What is that? I don't know exactly, but it's as inscription. We'll find out. They've got loopholes over here. Here we are. Rings and diamonds. And here as well. More coins with a chain. We'll give that to you. You? Well, are you still taking things out of there, Jacques? Yeah. Razor blade box, I think. A razor blade box. All right. Do you that? With your loophole, maybe we can find some initials on that. Uh -huh. If you get to a hair clipper, you know it's yeah, not mine. <laughs> Any other new discoveries? That's interesting. What would that be? Of the diamond in the middle, sparkling. Any initials on that? No. No, nothing. Nothing, huh? No. Oh, here's a little padlock. Maybe it says something. Yeah, so far we have the initials RLB. It says 18 carat. Got a little padlock. I see. Oh, and the watch. Here, I'll leave that with you as well. Well, to the scientists of Vermeer and EDF, to all of us who wanted the brave men and women who were tragically lost on that freezing April night, the restoration of these priceless mementos has been a labor of love. Their presentation, a gift to the future. Not one item will be sold. It is the intention and the promise of our expedition to display them with dignity only in the most select museums in the world, and then to give them their deserved place in history by maintaining them in a permanent collection. And now the time has come to thank all of you here tonight, to the wonderful people at La Villette Center for Science and Industry, to our honored guests, to our audience across the world who shared this very special event with us tonight. <laughs>